Okay, okay guys, just a couple of minutes and then your session will start. Uh, how's uh, the atmosphere? How are you doing right now? Yeah, we have 50 minutes before we start and I think the room will fill up completely. But I'm a bit nervous, I don't know about you, Matthias. <laughs> yeah, it's feeling pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be a little, a little extra right, pumped before. Right, right, right. Okay. you're sharp on the edge. Yep, thank so, you. Yeah, so I have to do uh, uh, an opening line. Yeah. That's the most worst part of this session and it's going something like, ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome. This is the V Mythbusters session, but it's not correct. <laughs> so I have to work it out. I've written it down on my notebook, and it will. I will, will, will work it out in the ten minutes. So, uh, but yeah. what, uh, what about you, Matthias? Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. It's always a bit nervous and before starting up, but I think we will. We have been well prepared. So right, right. We did a pretty WebEx. Pretty sure we're gonna piss some up here. Okay, we did WebEx. We did several Skype calls. And my wife was really angry with me. She couldn't watch TV because I was talking to Matthias the whole night. Oh, shall we do this? Shall we do that? So we prepared well, absolutely. So, uh, Victor, um, any other questions? No, uh, I want to say uh, good luck and uh, make it a great show. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. The Busters goes virtual session, and thank you for attending. All right, guys, welcome. My name is Matthias Sandling, I'm an evangelist and Miss Busters at Quest Software. And I'm uh, Eric Schulz and I'm a VMware certified instructor and I'm running a website called Exitpro.ml and I'm uh, well known for posting scoops on my website. So uh, we are going to present Miss Busters Goes Virtual. And unfortunately we didn't have the budget that these guys have, but we're trying to make it as interesting as possible. We're going to try to miss some busters. I would love to have the tools those two guys have. <laughs> Explosions and crash test dummies. And we asked Scott Herrick, but he, he wasn't <laughs> available for crash test dummy. But in the end, we're just poor two virtualization guys and we want to do some myth busting on our own. So we figured, why don't we do the myth busting in our own lab environment and try to bust some, uh, some myths that are floating around? And you saw, saw some myths floating around. Uh, but yeah, so we started up. Go to watch some TV, and Matthias is. Well, uh, isn't it true that raw device mappings are faster than a plain VMDK on a VMFS and that's something like, no! And then it started, then the idea of our session... ...using RDMs, raw device mappings, in their production environments. They use... Okay, okay. 10%, 20 So are you uh, using them because they are faster or do you have other use cases for them? Like, uh, you want to configure your sun or you have a very large amount of data on your... Uh, environment of your son you want, don't want to put all the data in the VPK. Uh, is it for speed or is it for another reason? I want to see some heads for speed. Oh, no, nobody. <laughs> I could have enough. A couple of heads. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the fact that ice 2 g ball device mappings have superior performance over VMFS. Uh, that should be true. Cool. I think so. So what's your role device mapping in the first place? When you are configuring a virtual machine with a virtual disk, then the virtual disk will be connected to a symbolic link.